Unreal 5.4 just got a new tool for renaming multiple assets at once. To make it available, head to Edit, Plugins and then search for Advanced Renamer. After enabling it, just restart the editor. And after the restart, let's look for some assets that are not named properly. For instance, I have a whole folder of materials that don't follow common Unreal naming convention where material assets should be named with M underscore prefix. We have our tool, so we don't have to do it for each of them manually. And for me, that would mean doing it 43 times. So let me just select them, right mouse button. And here in the middle of this list, there is advanced rename. Once we picked it, we can start tinkering with settings. And after clicking on any of them, we start seeing live preview of our changes. If we want to add some prefix, just go to prefix and type some. We can specify some base name. And honestly, that's not my favorite feature. But yes, we can do it. And we can also add a suffix and suffix can be a number. For instance, starting as one and being incremented with one, but we can also increment it by maybe 10, for example. What is more, we have search and replace feature, which may be very useful if you, for instance, would like to pick some suffix at the end of the name, slice it and remove whole word that is after the slash and of course remove the slash as well. So in that case, we go to regex and let's type underscore, make a word that is made of literally anything. And if I disable this base, you can see that we got rid of this pebble one and tile checker from original names. But that's not what we really wanted to do in the first place. So let me disable this regular expression and just add a prefix. I would like to also get rid of this number at the end. So instead of having suffix with number being incremented, I will get rid of it, but I will leave remove number enabled. And that's it. Let's press apply. And after a short while, all files are renamed. They are also saved. So keep that in mind and you may expect seeing some changes in your version control system. Hope that was useful. Bye.